When Yushin made odd layered cubes, like their 3x3s and 5x5s, they were great. But when they made an even layered cube for the first time, it sucked. Well, at least I think so. Now, they made a 6x6 and a new 4x4. Have they fixed what they got wrong? Well, let's talk about the most important thing first. Who, Who the, the heck, heck names, names their cubes, cubes colors? colors? This isn't 1996 Pokemon, Yushin. X-Man got it right and named their cube something cool, like Galaxy. Well, enough of that. Anyway, here's my problem with the Yushin 6x6. When I got it, which was very soon after when it was released, it wasn't that good. Seeing that everyone else praised it, I could only assume one thing. I got a bad batch. Now, I don't know who also got a bad batch 6x6, but it seems like everyone else got a good batch. So, unfortunately, there isn't really much I can say about this cube because I don't have a good batch. However, let's talk about the Yushin Blue. I like this cube. I really do. When you get it, you'll see that it's sluggish and slow. But if you want that feeling to go away and it to be good, then you should break it in a bit, and I've also heard that cleaning it out helps. The one thing I like is its size. It's a mini 4x4, which is 60 millimeters, which I've never had before, so it feels very comfortable in my hands, almost like a 3x3. But it's not my main, simply because my ASU still feels amazing. If you're getting started with 4x4 and want something to begin with, especially if you have smaller hands, definitely check this cube out. Thank you for watching my review of basically only the Yushin Blue, because the Yushin Red I can't really say anything about unless I get my hands on a good batch in 10 seconds. Well, looks like I don't have a good batch. See you later. Bye. Wait, wait. You forgot to subscribe. Oh, also I have an Instagram.